Hello and welcome back. I hope you have been enjoying the journey with me so far. Today we learn about defining the location of a node in space with respect to the origin of a defined access system. But before we do that, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button if you are new and join us in this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with Stanpro. So we will revisit the question that we have asked in the very first video in this series as to how can we locate the ball which we now call a node in space. We have not quite answered that question. We had only briefly mentioned that we need to measure the distances along x, y and z axis. Now we will see how to do that. We are representing the space using this axis system with the origin as O and let us consider this point B of which we intend to specify the location in space with respect to the origin O. So how can we do that? Well, so the way that we can do that is we can figure out the distances that we need to cover along the respective axis to reach this point P. Say we have to move 5, five units in this direction. We have to move 5 units in this direction, so 5. We have to move 3 units in this direction, but these are arbitrary. The drawing is not actually represented to scale, but we can say that, okay, we have to move 3 units. So this is 5 units along the x-axis and 3 units along y-axis because we are moving parallel to y so 3 units along the y-axis so we move like this 5 units 3 units along y-axis and 5 units again in the z-axis. So, this is 5 units along z-axis because we are moving parallel to the z-axis. So, if we move 5 units along x-axis, 3 units along y-axis and 5 units along z-axis, we reach this point P. So, we can say that this point P is located in space at coordinates 5, which represents the unit that we have to move along the x-axis, 3, which is the second number represents the units that we have to move along the y-axis, the third number represents the number of units that we have to move along the z-axis. Now this is called the joint coordinates of point P and this is used to represent the relative distance in space from the origin of the axis system O. So this is called the joint coordinate of point P. Joint coordinate of point P. So with the help of the joint coordinates, we can exactly represent the location of the node P with respect to the origin O. You may wonder why we are calling these coordinates of the node as joint coordinates instead of nodal coordinates. Well, 
We have seen in the goalpost frame structure that nodes also represents the joints of structures. So the other name of a node is joint. And thus the nodal coordinates can also be called joint coordinates. Now let us define the joint coordinates of the nodes of the goalpost frame structure and let us see how we can do that. So we have been talking about this goalpost frame which was 3 meters in height and 5 meters in width which was defined in the XY plane. Now let us try and represent this in this global axis system here and let us imagine that we are doing a computer modeling of this structure. Now let us consider that the first point or the point here is located at the origin of the structure and so for the computer modeling we would first need to define a node at the origin and this is the node number 1. So let us also write the coordinates of the node, the x coordinate, the y coordinate and the z coordinate. So, the first node is located at the origin. So, we would not need to move anywhere from the origin to locate this first node 1. So, the coordinates of this node would be 0, 0 and 0. The second node would represent this point node number 2 and you can see that it is 3 meters up in the vertical direction from node number 1. So node number 2 would be located at 3 meters above node number 1. So this is node number 2 and what is the distance of this node from this point 1? It is 3 meters in the vertical direction. So what is, what is the distance that we need to cover along all the axes to reach this node. So we would not need to travel along the x axis to come to this node. So we will have the x coordinate to be 0. We will need to move up 3 points, 3 units. In this case the units are in meters. So we need to move 3 meters in the y direction to reach this node. And we will not again need to move in the z direction. So the z coordinate of node 2 would be 0. Now let us represent the joint in this frame of node number of member number 2 and member number 3. The joint of it let us represent by node 3. So this would mean that you have to, this node number 3 would be located, you have to move 5 meters in the x direction and 3 meters in the y direction to reach this node number 3. So we have to move 5 meters in this direction and then we have to go up 3 meters to locate node number 3. So here you have to go 5 meters and 3 meters. So the x, you have to move 5 meters along the x, x axis. So the x coordinate will be 5. You need to move up 3 meters along the y axis. So the y coordinate would be 3. And you would not need to move along the z axis. So the z coordinate would be 0. And we would need to define one final node here, which is node number 4, that would be representative of this joint. So this would need you to move from the origin, which is here or here. So you have to move from the origin along the x-axis for 5 meters and you will need to reach node number 4. So 
log number 4. So, the coordinates of log number 4 would be you need to move 5 meters along the x axis, so 5. You do, not, you do not need to move along the y axis, so it should be 0. You do not need to move along the z axis, it would be 0. So, the coordinates of the various nodes is as in this table. Now, these values are in meters. It can be in any unit, but since we have defined this in meters, these node values are in meters. We can represent this in brackets as well. So, node 1 would be 0, 0, 0. These are the coordinates. The coordinate of node 2 is 0, 3, 0. The coordinate of node 3 is 5, 3, 0. And coordinate of node 4 is 5, 0, 0. So let us complete the drawing of the frame then. So we have the member 1 that would be created between node 1 and node 2. Member 2, so this is member number 1. Member 2 would be created between node 2 and node 3. This is member number 2. And member number 3 would be created between node 3 and node 4. So this is member number 2. Now, for defining the joint coordinates, you have a textual command in STAT Pro. So STAT, we will demonstrate this as we go ahead, but for now, please know that in STAT, there is a command line which STAT follows to generate the structure and thereby do the analysis and design. So, the textual command in STAT Pro to represent the joint coordinates is like this. The first line would be written as joint coordinates. Don't worry, we'll uh, show this in details in STAT later on. But know how, what this command line is. So, we first write joint coordinates, then for node number 1, we'll first write the node number 1 and then the various, we will have a definition of the unit system in STAT Pro. So STAT will know that these are in the units of meters. So now we'll have, so for the for specifying the first nodal coordinates in STAT Pro in the text format, we will first write the node number and followed by the three coordinates, x, y, and z coordinates. So like this, followed by a semicolon. Then the second node, followed by its three coordinates, which is followed by a semicolon. Then the third node, first we write the node number, followed by its three coordinates, followed by a semicolon. And finally, the fourth node, the node number first, followed by the three coordinates in x, y, and So, the general format of this command to specify joint coordinates in STAT Pro is we will actually have joint coordinate as the subtitle in the command line and then we will have node number followed by x coordinate, y coordinate and z coordinate and followed by a semicolon. Now if there are multiple nodes, the same format would be repeated again like we have shown here.
Now that we have specified the location of the nodes, our next work is to define the members between those nodes and complete the geometry of the structure. We will see that in the next video. So if you have liked the video today, please hit the like button and please press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.